14 people with disabilities, were honoured on Monday, December 11, at the Go Chok Tong Enable Awards GCTE. Launched in 2019, the GCTE is an initiative of the Go Chok Tong Enable Fund, a community fund administered by SG Enable and supported by Mediacorp, which provides people with disabilities the opportunities to actively contribute to society in lead, socially integrated lives. Supported by the Tote Board, the awards comprise two categories, the GCTEA Achievement Category and the GCTEA Promise Category. The former celebrates people with disabilities who have accomplished significant achievements in their fields and served as an inspiration to others, while the latter encourages people with disabilities who have shown promise to pursue greater heights in their areas of talent and willingness to serve the community. A total of three individuals were awarded the GCTA achievement and 10 Singapore dollars. 000 USS dollar 7 for 50 at the ceremony held at the Astana. Two of the GCTA achievement recipients were Team Singapore Power Athletes, 76 year old Parabola Isa Ibrahim and 44 year old Power Equestrian Laurentier Tan Yen Yi. MDM Isa, who is also president of the BDOC, Youth Society for the Disabled, has represented Singapore in several international tournaments, including the Guangzhou 2010 Asian Power Games. She also won a silver and a bronze in the 2009 and 2010 National Disability League singles events respectively. Ms Tan, who has profound deafness and attitude cerebral palsy, which impairs her motor coordination is one of Singapore's most successful para-athletes. The 44-year-old won Singapore's first Paralympic medal at the 2008 Beijing Paralympic Games, where she finished with two bronze medals. She also won a bronze and a silver at the 2012 London Paralympic Games. Singapore Disability Sports Council, which nominated Ms Tan, will also receive 5,000 Singapore dollars in recognition of the contributing role of the nominating organization in her success journey. Another 11 individuals were presented with the GCTA promise and 5,000 Singapore dollars in recognition of their potential and commitment to serve the community. A posthumous award was also presented to Mr. Rajpal Nairat Singh one of the recipients of GCTE Promise. Mr. Nairat was the founder of a non-profit organization, Hearing Vietnam, which serves the needs of the deaf and hearing impaired in Vietnam. Mr. Nairat, who died in September due to a medical emergency, made significant contributions to increasing disability awareness and actively advocated for persons with disabilities. Chairman of the GCTA Evaluation Panel Michael Ngu said, We are all saddened by Narod's passing and decided we should still honour his contributions by presenting him with a posthumous award. Mr Ngu, who is also a board member of SG Enable and a GCTA 2019 Achievement Award recipient, said that reviewing the nominations this year was especially challenging as they received a sizable number of deserving nominations. This is a strong testament to the impressive works, talents and potential exhibited by persons with disabilities. Speaking at the awards ceremony on Monday, President Taman Shamugaram highlighted that there is still more to be done to change mindsets in the broader public. What shines through all the journeys of the awardees today is that they are individuals who are determined to live purposeful lives just like anyone else said Mr. Thaman. CEO of SG Enable Ku Jik Boon also called upon the wider community to build an inclusive society with equitable opportunities for all. We are honoured to celebrate our awardees who have displayed unwavering levels of tenacity despite the challenges they face, said Tam Lok Kang, CEO of Mediacorp. We hope that their remarkable displays of strength and resilience will inspire all of us to rise above the odds and to champion inclusivity as well, said Miss Tam.